And we are back with All in Context. And this is where we shed light on some cultural idiosyncrasies. And we look at things that might be just considered completely normal and natural here in Korea, but from a different perspective can be considered very strange and sometimes just outright rude, especially when we're talking about manners. Mm, Bananas. (laughs) Bonkers. Manners bonkers, yes. And that was, of course, Ryan Culp, who helps us to do that with All in Context. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. How are you doing? Did you have a good weekend? I did. Uh, Halloween yes, I was, was here. Uh-huh. And uh, I didn't eat too much candy, but uh, <laughs> I met a lot of strangers. It uh-huh. felt a little bit like old times. Did you dress up? Uh, long story. I had mm-hmm. a costume. Mm-hmm. I had a Squid Games costume. Yes. And then at the last minute, I thought nothing was going to happen because uh-huh. there was this fake news that uh, Koreans or that the Korean government was going to deport foreigners. What? So yeah. So I had <laughs> okay. all of my friends messaging me like, oh, "I'm really? not going out." So then I didn't dress up, but then I started walking around uh-huh. and I saw everybody in their Squid Games outfit. So. Oh no. I had a little FOMO, but it was uh-huh. still fun. You had the pink one, the pink costume. I had like the Trey Jong meme. Uh, like the weird mask with the big like cape. Oh, those are rare. Very oh, that rare. would have been good to see. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be talking about manners. And this is really interesting. I can't wait to hear about uh, what things that you have noticed. But let me also remind our listeners also about the first question of the day, because we asked you, What is this term? And it refers to customers who disregard consumer etiquette and they make unreasonable complaints um, to business owners, sometimes unreasonable demands as well. So it's a Konglishy term. And we asked you, what is this term? So, 소비자로서의 매너를 다하지 않고 또 악의적인 민원을 제기하는 사람을 일컫는 콩글리시한 단어인데요. Some of you sent in some answers. Uh, 5691 saying 프로 불편러. Have you ever heard that one before? Yes, it's like a person who's really good at complaining exactly. on like, the internet. Uh huh. Like a professional uh, complainer. It's a That's nice right. mix of Korean and English words. And then zero two three zero saying akpulo yo. Similar. Similar. Yeah. Evil word. Good answers. Person. Unfortunately, they're not the right ones, or they're not the ones that we are looking for here. So the one that we're looking for here is actually a combination of two words, really. So it is two words that we're asking for. And if you think you know the answer, send it in to pound 1013. Spin around. And um, Max says we can give you a hint. It uh, includes a color. The correct answer includes mm. a color. All right. So manners. Um, you know, they are kind of, I mean, I kind of started the opening with, um, it's not so much a cultural difference, but I think mm. maybe a, also a generational difference as well. Sure. Like manners, yeah, sometimes overrated, the, the rules for manners and etiquette seem to be changing all the time as well. And then you throw culture right. into the mix and wow, such a minefield. Right. I mean, to be clear, right, we're all human. So there's sort of like human nature with body language and like laughter's universal language and The word no works in every language. <laughs> so there's some of these things that always will keep us together. Yes. But I remember growing up in America, you, you hear these kind of like rumors or sort of like, I don't know, they're just like fake news about how like in this country, if you slurp, that means it's good. Uh-huh. And if you don't slurp, then the chef will be sad. Yes. Because you know, <laughs> like, you're not enjoying your food enough, exactly. are you? Exactly. Uh-huh. Another one I heard when I was much younger that I've never found to be true was like, In this country, you know, and in America, if you use your middle finger, that's, you know, an insult. Mm-hmm. But in these countries, your middle finger is like a thumbs up. And if you What? put your thumb out, that's like giving the middle finger. It's like, I've been to many countries I've never <laughs> seen. So there's all these like interesting rumors uh-huh. about what manners look like mm-hmm. in different countries. And then you have to go there to really see it. Right. And then what happens is like the things you didn't expect to be different are, and the uh-huh. things you expect to be different are the same. Uh-huh. Uh, one example that's hits you immediately when you come to Korea, even as a tourist, um, is if you say just one Korean word, mm-hmm. hello, thank you, someone else is likely to say, <laughs> They're such amazed that you did or you said right. anything in Korean, right? But the first, the first 30 <laughs> times you hear that as uh-huh. a foreigner, you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you believe you, it? You really believe it? Because, you th- you know, because in, in America, like, if you get a compliment, there's sort of a, an art to taking the compliment. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's unbecoming. It looks a little bit... Uh, ungracious. Ungracious if you can't take a compliment. I have, I have been uh, sort of... 
pointed out for that as well. Someone complimented. I'm saying, no, 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 it's not me. It's all the teams. Like, no. And they're like, just take it. Right. You're making me feel bad, you know? Because you're spending social capital to give someone a compliment. Exactly. So for the person not to take it, it's kind of like, well, now they haven't completed the transaction. Mm -hmm. They've like blocked it from happening. Whereas in Korea, you want to appear modest. You want to reject the compliment at least twice. Or no, 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 it's not me. It's the team. (laughs) Right, exactly. So that took a while to get used to. Or now, anytime someone says anything nice about me, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I n e e o I have demons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I have, taking compliments or accepting compliments, it's a huge difference uh, mm-hmm. in Korea as well. Mm-hmm. I think nowadays, um, but, you know, there used to be, growing up, I have to say, like when I grew up, because of my dad's job, a diplomat. I had to move around different countries every three years or so. So it was very critical that I kind of caught up on the sort of the cultural context Mm. and the etiquette of wherever I came to. So you have the basic sort of the international etiquette, you know, you say thank you, hello, you know, I'm sorry. You have those very basic manners. But then the the very specific manners and and etiquette of that country, I had to just like very observe everything, Mm. be very kind of observant and try to just nunchiba and see what everyone else was doing. But the thing is, like you say, like when we were growing up, there were very specific, it seemed, cultural sort of etiquette for each country. But nowadays, I don't know, it becomes kind of more blurred or more accepting that everyone realizes everyone has different sort of etiquettes or cultures. So not such a big deal. It's just kind of looked upon as maybe, ah, it's another sort of... quirk, cultural quirk, maybe. That's right. I'd say that nowadays you can get by by just being a normal kind of reasonable human. (laughs) Yeah. But for example, me living now in Korea, there are little things that if I do them the sort of Korean way, Mm -hmm. it can really impress someone or give them a little joy, you know. So even if it's as simple as turning in the other way to to take take a drink at the restaurant, you Mm -hmm. know, it's usually not necessary. You know, I'm I'm not an important person. Uh I don't go to like big k w e s h i k with mm. a boss. But if I do it with someone I've just met and they're Korean mm-hmm. and it's kind of a nice place, then all those things kind of collide and mm-hmm. they say, wow, like you, you know how to do it the Korean way. And you're showing respect for That's the right. Korean way as well. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to do that. You right. know? In America, we slosh around too much. <laughs> so it's nice to have some order. I mean, I, I realize it's a little early to be talking about drink, but mm-hmm. since we're transitioning and there'll be more drinking maybe, um, when it comes to drinking, and you know how Koreans, they say, if you pour your own drink, they used to have the saying that um, either you or the person next to you would have like seven years of bad luck romantically or whatnot. Bad so, luck romantically. Exactly. That's a good, yes. So you're not supposed to pour your own drink. And it's right. considered very bad manners for the people around you right. if they haven't observed and poured you, you know, right. um, your drink. Is it? anything similar like that in the U.S.? It's like almost the opposite. The the opposite. Yeah, in the U.S., it would be, of course, it's nice to pour someone else's drink, Mm -hmm. but to wait for someone to pour your drink is like wild. (laughs) I've never done that. Uh Uh, It's very normal. You know, let's say there's a pitcher of sangria in the middle of the table. I might pour for some lady Mm -hmm. if I'm with, but otherwise each person pours their own and Mm -hmm. that's very normal to to wait for someone to pour yours would be strange. That would be very strange. And it could be, I guess, maybe even consider kind of... 공주병. 공주병, 왕자병, or maybe in a bit of a pressure where you're trying to Mm. make me to drink more when I'm not feeling up for it. That's actually a good point. It almost transitions into another Mm -hmm. example, which is this peer pressure being built into like manners here. Mm -hmm. So like uh, we always learned growing up, like peer pressure equals bad. Yeah. Because peer pressure is usually for, not for fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Your friends aren't all saying like, hey, let's study hard. <laughs> let's jump off a cliff <laughs> yeah. instead. Yeah. Instead, it's like drink all night. <laughs> yes, right? yes. So in the U.S., like if you're in that situation, it's very common to just leave mm. to, to Irish exit, people call it. I, oh. don't, I don't know if that's offensive to Irish people. <laughs> we don't pick on them be. enough, so I hope so. <laughs> just to even it I out. I didn't know that. You call it an Irish exit where you just kind of do when your you own thing? When you leave without saying goodbye. Oh, oh that's considered very bad manners, that's I think, in Korea. That's very bad in Korea. Yes. You have to... to stick it out all night, mm-hmm. get a party room, go to the j i m j i b a n g whatever it takes. Or at least a- apologize profusely and mention oh, sure. that you'll be leaving. But yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so that's considered bad manners. Um, but um, when you go to maybe like someone's house as well, because we are having a lot more house parties or home parties. I was wondering, because in Korea, it's kind of considered, um, again, expected to bring mm. something, right? Whether it's toilet rolls of paper, <laughs> you know, uh, or um, some sort of maybe a beverage or a bottle of wine. But I thought that that was kind of a a universal thing. If you're invited, you bring something. Do you not? 
I think that's in the U.S. increasingly common in cities. Yeah. I was living in New York City and San Francisco, and it seemed a little more, I don't know, metropolitan or mm -hmm. something to go to someone's house and, like you said, bring a bottle of wine. Yeah. Uh, but growing up, I went to many family friends' house. Never once, I don't think, saw my mom or dad bring something. If it was statedly a potluck where we're right. bringing a dish, they're bringing a dish, sure. Otherwise, that was kind of the concept was that whoever's hosting, mm -hmm. they take care of things. Yeah. To go as the guest and bring stuff or mm -hmm. help clean or anything like that was sort of like that defeated the purpose of the, mm -hmm. of the visit. But I think now it's becoming more common. Uh, that's, I think, why you see at the grocery stores here, you can buy these like packs of packs. Uh -huh. So you just always have like some <laughs> right. cold gum in your uh -huh. closet for the next visit. <laughs> um, so it, it kind of becomes this like weird pressure thing. Mm. I've probably brought wine to friends' houses mm -hmm. a few times in Korea, but so far I haven't gone much beyond that. Interesting, because I always thought like it was the, uh, the, you know, the Hollywood films or whatnot where they have these home parties mm. and we kind of learn from that you would bring a bottle of wine mm. or something. as a sign of uh, thanks or gratitude to your host or hostess. But you're saying that maybe not so much in real life in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. And personally, when I've hosted too, people uh -huh. will say, do I need to bring anything? Uh -huh. So it's almost more of a, a, a customary to say, do mm -hmm. I need to bring anything? Yes. The person doesn't actually want to. <laughs> so I said, do I need to bring anything? I say, no, 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 just come. Right, just right. you. Yeah. Just you. Mm -hmm. When it comes to, I think, dining, that's where a lot of things get kind of gray mm. as well. Because... Um, For instance, I remember um, dining with uh, my friends and we had a girl, um, she had a cold apparently, or she had a runny nose. So she kept on slurping up her, her, <laughs> her and I was like, huh, why is she not just blowing her nose? So I handed her a tissue and she's like, mm, and she just kind of wiped or kind of soaked in it, but she kept on slurping. And I didn't get it. I had also some trouble understanding it as well. But then I understand it's just um, not considered uh, so uh, polite to uh, blow one's nose. But oh my gosh, look at the time. We're off out of time. Ryan, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm sorry you weren't able to wrap up. TBS EFM.